Hey, what is going on guys? So really quickly, I'm gonna show you how to transfer uh, files such as videos and uh, photos from your iPhone 11, uh, 11 Pro, even the 11 Pro Max. The only thing I gotta mention, and this is gonna be by uh, via cable or wire. The only thing I have to mention is, if you have the regular iPhone 11, the lightning cable that you get is a USB to a lightning port here. However, if you have the iPhone 11 Pro or the uh, Pro Max, the cable that you get, the charging cable, it's a USB type C to a lightning cable, okay? So obviously, if you wanna go ahead and transfer files uh, using the cable on your iPhone uh, 11 Pro or uh, Pro Max, and the only cable you have is the uh, USB-C to lightning port, and on your laptop or your computer, you don't have a USB type C like most of you guys aren't going to have a USB type C on your uh, laptops. Most of the newer ones have it. Anyways, all of my laptops don't have a USB type C. So if I want to go ahead and transfer uh, files, uh, videos and photos from my uh, iPhone uh, 11 Pro Max or whatnot, I have to go ahead and use a USB A or a standard USB to a uh, lightning um, uh, connector here okay so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and use this i'll put a link below where you can get these two you don't have to buy you don't you don't really have to spend so much money on the original uh, iphone lightning cables there's a lot of alternatives they sell a lot cheaper anyways i'm gonna go ahead and plug this in right now and we're going to transfer some files and videos let me go ahead and swipe up right here and as soon as i do that we heard some kind of noise now if you look on my phone it says trust and don't trust Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click on trust right there. And then let me go ahead and put in my passcode in just like that. Now, of course, I can use uh, iTunes. Even though I'm using a uh, Windows computer here, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're using a Windows computer or a MacBook. If you have a Windows computer, you can download iTunes. If you have a MacBook or MacBook Pro or Apple computer, it, the iTunes are automatically installed. However, I'm gonna transfer everything, uh, my photos and videos, to my Windows laptop here, and I don't want to use iTunes, okay? Honestly, I don't like these iTunes. We're gonna go direct, okay? So let me go ahead and cancel this. So I got everything plugged in. I trusted the, uh, this iPhone here. So let me go ahead and do this. Simply go to your Windows Explorer. Right here, let me open that up. And let me go down to... Okay, that's weird. I should see like iPhone somewhere on here. It's not doing it. So let me go ahead and pull this out. And now let me go ahead and pop it back in. Let's see if something here pops up. Oh, I just heard something and voila, it says V's iPhone, which is the name of this iPhone right here. And you can see right here. Okay, so if I tap on that, and now from here it says internal storage, I can double click on that. And then you have to double click on DCIM. And this is, and then uh, 100 Apple. And then this is where all of my photos and videos are. So now from here, I mean, I can go ahead, I can highlight all of them, and I can go ahead and copy, and I can put it anywhere I want. Let me just put it on the desktop here. I'll just go ahead and create a new folder, and I'll call that iPhone Pro. And now I can simply just open that up, right click and paste. And now all of these uh, photos and videos will be on my actual computer. And we'll let this uh, fill up here. And these are photos and videos as well mixed up. And you can tell, you can see the photos are uh, JPEG here, JPG file. And the videos are actually in MOV file, as you can see right there. So anyways, now everything's in a folder on my desktop right here. I double click on that. And here's all my photos and videos from my iPhone Pro. So there you guys go. Pretty simple. Any questions, comment below. Thanks. Bye.